Hello, welcome to today's video. Thank you for clicking. Today we're gonna to talk about a little bit more of the parameters and samples that we're gonna be looking at when we talk about sampling variability, and then ultimately when we, when we start making inferences on the population. So we've talked about some sample estimates, we talked about sample proportions, I talked about population means. We may have not talked about a population proportion yet, but it's just like it sounds. It's a proportion that refers to the population. Notation-wise, we use the notation lowercase p to represent that population proportion. The sample proportion, we use the notation p hat. And the hat just indicates that we're estimating the value below it. So we're estimating the value of p with p hat, the sample proportion. Then we have the population mean, and we talked about this in past videos, but this is denoted with mu. So mu is the notation for population mean, that's that Greek letter. It's not u, it's not m-e-w, like the mu of a kitten, it's m-u. So mu, the Greek letter mu. And then our sample mean we denoted with x bar. So we have population proportion, sample proportion, population mean, and sample mean. When we're talking about sampling variability, we're going to be focusing how these sample estimates look in comparison to the population values that they'll ultimately be working to estimate. So we're going to be using sampling variability for these two groups to see how they react or what they look like for the population proportion and the population mean. Now, one of the things that's really important for you to remember is that we have the goal of using a sample to talk about a population. And because these are measurements referring to the sample, this is going to be referred to as a statistic. So remember that samples use statistics. So a sample mean is also a type of statistic. And we are going to use that to estimate our parameter, which is a value referring to the population. So our population proportion is a type of parameter, and our population mean is a type of parameter. So almost always, we won't know what p hat are or what mu is equal to. So when we define a parameter, we're going to be defining these in a sentence or what we want to make an inference on, and we'll be using our statistics to be able to estimate those values. So we're going to be using x bar to try to estimate mu, and we'll be using p hat to try to estimate p. Now, we don't know what p or mu are, but when we talk about sampling variability, we are going to kind of know them so that you can see how good of a job X bar does estimating mu and how good of a job P hat does estimating P because it'll help us to know how to measure the variability amongst those P hat values or amongst those X bar values. Now, I just wanna emphasize this one more time. So we're going to look at a population and we're going to look at a sample and we're going to just one more time Put those values that we just talked about on the groups so that you can really understand what they're measuring. So remember, this is our population. That's our sample. So if by chance I had a measurement for the proportion of people who were blue, that would be a P. Or I could have how tall those individuals are, that would be a mu. Remember, because this is a population these are parameters. Now we're not normally gonna know what these values are. So remember we've said that we're going to have to take a sample and hopefully it will be representative. Here if I had the proportion of people who were blue, that would be a p hat value. Let's actually put that down here. Or if I had the average height of these people, I would have x bar because these measurements are a sample and remember, because this is a sample and these measurements are from the sample, these would be called statistics. So population, we don't usually know. The notation for population measurements are P and mu. Those are parameters because they're referring to the population. Or we can have a sample and those measurements would be P hat or X bar, helps us to know they're from a sample. Because they're measurements referring to the sample, 
those are going to be called statistics. And in future videos, we'll talk about how we know the habits of these so that we can actually estimate these parameters that we ultimately won't know. See you then.